Hello, everybody. This is David Montesano, founder of College Match. Today, I have the privilege of talking to Brianna Bennett, who's the Bay Area Director of Blue Stamp Engineering. And today we're discussing online summer engineering exploration for high schoolers. Is it possible? Let me give you a little bit of background on my speaker here today. Brianna started her career in educational nonprofits. She taught in a summer program and managed an after school youth program for underserved communities. She was very drawn to technology and ended up working in coding for a boot camp and doing stack, full stack development. She loves technology and, help, and her passion is to organize, educate, and inspire others to achieve their goals. She also happens to be her gym's youth rock climbing team manager. She's excited to bring all her passion and experience to Blue Stamp to inspire her students to learn new skills and build cool stuff. Hi, Brianna, how are you doing? Hey, David, thanks so much for having me. I'm doing great, how are you? My pleasure, doing really well. I'm excited to talk about how students can actually explore engineering online. And uh, you're working for a very exciting company, Blue Stamp. I've been familiar with Blue Stamp for quite a while and always a lot of our students end up going to Blue Stamp and working either during the school year or over the summer. And we were talking about this earlier. The thing I'm most excited about since COVID hit is that now Blue Stamp is completely online and students can anywhere log in and, and join Blue Stamp, which is very exciting. Of course, there is an application process. Let me go ahead and get started. I'm just gonna ask you some questions um, to help our audience understand a little bit more about what you guys do. So let me ask you a question. In this unprecedented COVID time, I know it's a great time for students and high school students in particular to learn new skills and get hands-on experience. Lots of things are closed, but there's still lots of opportunities out there. What is the best way to learn a STEM topic in your opinion? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, I think, I think there's a, there's many ways of learning, right? Students learn in many different ways, um, but I think hands-on um, is a really important way to learn. Um, you get to experience all of the failures, um, and you learn through all of those failures uh, to get to that solution. So you're not just learning one specific theory; you're learning all of the different information, uh, problem solving skills that you needed to get to that final solution. Um, so that's why we really believe at Blue Stamp that hands-on learning is, is the best way to learn. What kind of deliverables are important in a summer program for Blue Stamp in particular? Yeah, great question. So, I mean, let's back up a little bit. So when you think about things that you can do in the summer, right? The summer is supposed to be about fun, of course, um, but why not have fun and also uh, do something that's going to help you in the future, right? So you want to have future-minded deliverables. Um, so think about things that you can show on a college application, um, actual physical projects that you can show and explain to people, um, networking, uh, recommendations, all of those things are important. Um, so specifically at Blue, Blue Stamp, uh, we have, we build a portfolio website. Every student builds one that you get to keep forever. Um, so through your build journey, you're going to be documenting all of your code, um, all of your milestones and all of that stuff you get to keep. And then you get to show, you can put that when you apply to an intern internship or on your college application. Um, and it's really powerful to, to say like, Hey, when I was in high school, I built this really complicated project and here's exactly how I did it. Um, it's going to speak volumes when you have pictures and code and technical descriptions on there. Um, in addition to that, we offer recommendations, uh, even if it's four years after you've come to the program, if you want a recommendation um, for a college application or anything, uh, we're happy to do that for you. Um, and then on top of that, like obviously you're building, at Blue Stamp you're gonna build a physical project and you get to keep that forever. A lot of camps, they give you a kit and you build a project and then they take it apart and they keep it. Um, but for us, every project is very individualized. So you build something exactly what you want and you get to keep it forever. Great, that sounds awesome. What kind of projects can students build at Blue Stamp? Can you give a couple examples for our audience? Yeah, exactly. So um, Blue Stamp is very student driven. So whatever a student wants to build, we're gonna help you build it. Um, 
we want, want it to be something you're super passionate about, again, because it's something you're gonna keep forever. Uh, so some of the cooler projects I've seen um, are um, a machine learning robotic re recycle sorting arm. So essentially, uh, the kid used machine learning to uh, determine what each piece of trash is made out of, whether it's paper, plastic, or metal. And then it uses a robotic arm to pick up the piece of trash and then sort it in a different place accordingly. Um, I know that probably sounds like a crazy project for a high schooler, uh, which it is a little bit, um, but you don't necessarily have to have experience to come to Blue Stamp. Uh, you can learn all of this stuff by doing um, with our instructors and, and just by, um, you're not gonna learn, you know, every technical aspect of how to do machine learning, but like specifically for this project, you're gonna be an expert in that. By the way, we should back up. How, how, um, how would I know if my student is interested in STEM to begin with? I should just ask that question, right? For parents yeah. that might want to know. For sure. Um, so yeah, that's a hard one. I get a lot of things you don't really know unless you try it, right? Um, and so that's why in, in schools, it's kind of limited. You're limited to taking specific classes. They don't always have, um, they don't dive deep into specific topics. Um, so yeah, and it also very depends on the school you're going to. Uh, so the summer is a great time to sort of explore those different things that you might be interested in. Um, honestly, you're never gonna know unless you try. Um, but to be honest, also technology is involved with every sort of industry that you could think of. Um, sports, entertainment, um, medicine, um, yeah, basically every industry you can think of, uh, technology is gonna be, you know, in the center of that. Great, and once once someone has their student attend Blue Stamp, how are the classes structured? Um, so specifically for this year, since we're going remote, um, it's a little bit different, but um, the classes are via Zoom. You'll be in a class of three, two to three other students and one instructor. Um, it's two and a half hours via Zoom, and then there's one and a half hours of office hours each night. So say you're in your class in your morning, in the morning, you're working on your project, um, class ends, you're still working on your project after class because you're so stoked about it. Um, you run into a problem that you don't know how to solve, uh, go to your office hours at night and your instructor is going to be there to help walk you through problems. Um, it's also a really great time to get like more individual one-on-one -on -one time. Um, in addition to the Zoom rooms, there's also a Slack channel. So um, our instructors and all of the other students in the class are constantly on Slack, so you can share pictures and code um, and try to debug things there as well. That's great. Um, Slack is a great way to kind of have teams work together. Um, what, are, what are the most important skills that students learn at Blue Stamp? Yeah, so obviously you're going to learn a lot of technical skills. You're going to learn about how to use servos and Raspberry Pi. Um, you're gonna learn about breadboards and circuits. You're gonna learn how to code. Um, but I think the most important thing that you're gonna learn at Blue Stamp is how to learn, how to solve a problem that you don't know how to solve, um, where to search for that problem. Uh, like I said before, it's a very student-driven program. So if you have a question, um, our, our instructors aren't gonna give you the answer. Um, <clears throat> they're basically gonna tell you how to think about that in a different way. Um, or where you could search for the answer to that problem. Um, so it's really going to help you learn how to solve your own problems. That's great. And, you know, one thing that you talked about before is how, you know, you, you, you'll give recommendation letters to help kids go to college. And this is, a, this is a skill. And as a college consultant, I can absolutely affirm that doing this program, this is one of the reasons that I often recommend it for our students over the years, to attend a program like Blue Stamp is that it helps a student who may be wanting to major in engineering as an undergraduate, you know, figure that out ahead of time or model that ahead of time so that they'll really know if it's a yes or a no before they embark on that. Because it's a pretty specific path. In some cases, students have to actually indicate that major and go straight into it, you know, at a college. So this is something that really helps them. The other thing that this does, Blue Stamp really, we found for our students does is it gives them something tangible to discuss in interviews with colleges, with, with uh, college representatives. And it's also something that they can put in on their activity list, you know, and really showcase that the fact that they built, you know, 
an, an arm that were a robotic arm or something like that, or a, you know, a vehicle. Um, so I, I really do see the value in that, especially as an admission con, uh, consultant for our students. Um, now, uh, did you have anything you wanted to add to that, Brianna? Uh, I mean, I just really like loved your point about saying um, students have to decide you know, what sort of engineering they want to do before they go into college. That's very true. A lot of times you'll have to decide uh, if you want to go into mechanical engineering or electrical engineering or computer science. And if you've never actually, you know, worked with a circuit or built something physically, you might just think you like the idea of mechanical engineering without actually knowing. Um, we've had, and I mean, on top of that, uh, a lot of college students don't start actually building projects until like the end of their second year or third year. That's a pretty inconvenient time to be like, actually, I hate this, you know? Um, so we've had a lot of students come into our program who um, thought they loved computer science um, because computer science is the one that you can easily do. It's like online everywhere, you can learn it. Um, and then they got into the program and they had to code all of these things um, for an actual project, connecting it to mechanical and electrical parts. And they were like, actually, I don't like coding, right? Um, so that was really great for them to learn what they do or don't like, you know? Both of those pieces of information are important. Great, thank you, Brianna. One, one last question, and then we'll go to the special offer that you, I know you've got for our listeners. Um, what, if, what if there's a family out there listening, and this is a tough time economically for, pe for folks, um, and um, some people have been hit hard, obviously, and what, what can, they, can they, I guess the question might be out there on their minds, you know, can I afford this? Because some of these summer engineering programs can be, you know, several thousand dollars. So I just was, and I know yours is very well priced, I believe. I just was wondering if, um, if you offer financial aid or any kind of um, support like that for students that are coming from low, lower income backgrounds. Yeah, great question. Um, so actually Blue Stamp is one of our missions to, you know, make engineering for everyone. We wanna help uh, bring students from underserved communities into technology. Um, get them building things uh, so they can eventually have a career in engineering. Um, and so we do have significant financial aid for students. Um, it's needs-based financial aid. So once you're accepted into the program, we have a really short application. It's like five questions. Um, and about 30 to 40% of our students receive some sort of financial aid. Um, so we never want money to be a reason that you can't go after an opportunity in engineering. Thank you. That's super helpful. I know our listeners will find that helpful. Um, finally, let's get to the, to your special offer today. So, um, you were you mentioned that you'd like to offer something, and that's I think a hundred dollar program tuition voucher, right? Yeah. Uh, how can people how can people redeem that offer? Yeah. So, um, if whenever somebody applies to our program um, on the application, it it asks where you heard about us. So, if you just say that you heard about us from Dave. Um, or from College Match, uh, then you'll get $100 off your tuition. Great, that's very helpful. And thank you so much for spending the time to talk to our group. I really appreciate that, Brianna. It's been very helpful. Yeah, thank Thanks you so for much. having me.